Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a template that I built inside Bubble, Bubble.io, which is a no-code tool. And you also see behind the scenes how a product built inside Bubble looks like. So let's go. My name is Kayo, I'm the Chief No-Code Officer here at We Are No-Code. And in this channel, we talk about no-code and teach you how to launch your startup without writing code yourself and without being a tech person. So if you like this kind of content and want to know more about no-code tools in the no-code space, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave a thumbs up on this video. Okay, now I'm going to show you the template that I created inside Bubble.io. So inside my account, you are going to see that I have uh, one template here. It's under my templates tab. Usually when you log in, you see your apps, but then if you have a template, your app will be converted into a template. So this is how it will look like. And if you don't have any template, you can create one from scratch by clicking this little button here. Okay. so. Inside my template, since I have one, I can edit the existing template. I can submit it to the marketplace, which I already did for this one. I have the public page where you can see the template information. And I can also set the price, which in my case is $49. And also I can delete it for sure. I can also create a coupons as well if I want to give discounts and send these uh, coupons to people so they can buy my template uh, with a discount. Okay. Uh, bear in mind that bubble takes a commission from the price you set here so read all the information they have on their website if you are willing to build templates yourself they will pay you on a regular basis there are some rules and everything uh, so it's always nice to see and check the marketplace policies and guidelines on this link okay so if i click here to see my public page this is my template public page uh, it's called templater uh, landing page template here's when i published this last year when i updated this for the last time the price uh, the types of licenses you can get uh, and the preview button as well here you have a few details you can add to your page the category uh, how the license works i think this is default and also the preview link for people to access this template and see how it works and navigate through it so let's take a look at the template itself so this is the template it is a single page like a landing page template very simple to be honest with you my main goal creating this was not to sell this actually i just put it here because i wanted to understand the whole process and also i wanted to create a template to see how it works and also i was testing the new responsive engine features so uh, it was a way for me to learn how it works and also create something using the new responsive engine okay so let's take a look at this template so here we have a nav bar uh, so we have a couple of links a cta button some hover effects to it very simple then we have a hero section with a title a description a button and the side image i also made sure to put the image size so if like someone buys the template they know exactly what is the size of this image so they, they can create an exact image that will replace this one following the sizes that i used that's a good thing here we have a features section so a little bit of information of course this information is all random just to uh, kind of have some structure and some fake copy here uh, then we have some images and information on the sides changing the direction from the image the side of the image then we have a little bit more information then some bullet points here uh, with icons and here we have a gallery section so you can place some images in different sizes we have a testimonials area as well a final cta and then our footer with some links as well and this is all responsive and created inside the new responsive engine so now i'm gonna show you how the responsiveness work i'm gonna reduce my browser uh, window so you can see how it uh, adapts to each breakpoint so as you can see it starts uh, changing the template based on the space you have to show the information so here is how it will show in a tablet for example uh, for the menu when we don't have any more room 
to show the links then i collapse and change this into this uh, hamburger menu the information here the image goes to the bottom and also one thing that i applied is uh, dynamic changing to the the typography the font sizes as well so as you can see the font size adapts as well as you change the breakpoints so it gets a little bit smaller and change accordingly depending on the size of the screen so this is a nice touch that i added as well and the menu once you click it you will see this little animation kind of a fade animation we have hover effects which in mobile will not uh, actually work because we don't have hover in mobile but we have it as well we have this little close icon as well once you click it it changes back to the hamburger menu and closes the menu with a slide up effect so those little nice touches um, are really good because makes your project look more professional so i made sure to add those little extra details then this section as well it changes based on the viewport size, uh, on the browser size, on the device you are using. Also changes the font sizes a little bit, just to make sure it is more aligned with the context of the user. Here as well, the images change direction as well. And one nice little thing that I did here, as you can see, for example, this uh, text is here, the image is here. This, in this case, it's the opposite, but then once you go to the mobile view, as you can see, the image is on top. The second image is also on on top and also this other image is also on top so i created a little mechanism to show and hide these sections i had to of course duplicate those sections to achieve that uh, effect as well but it was really nice because then i have full control of how it will show up in different devices and i can make sure that it will show up exactly the way i want it to show and here in this gallery section i also did some experiments so i break the images in different ways the depending on the, the viewport size. So it goes down and then it makes everything look the same size. The testimonials as well, they adapt, which is really nice. The CTA as well, changing the font size and the footer as well breaks and divides depending on the um, size of the viewport. So really nice template. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I'm sure most of you uh, wanna see inside bubble. So let's jump into the bubble editor right now so I can see how I built this. Hey, 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 there is a nice opportunity for you right now. We created a free course just for you to learn the basics around how to launch your startup business idea and how to do it without learning how to code by using no code tools. So if you want to take your first step into the no code space, here's your chance. In this video description section, there is a link to enroll for free to this free course. So don't miss this opportunity. Go there right now and enroll for free. See you there. This is not gonna be a tutorial where I will guide you on how to build that. My main goal here is to show you how I built it so you can have a sense of how uh, a bubble project looks like inside the bubble editor, okay? So I'm inside the bubble editor right now. I'm gonna show uh, the element borders because I think this way you can see the structure a little bit better. So in this case, um, we have the header here. We have a lot of boxes uh, all using the new responsive engine. As you can see, we have the container layout set up as row. We have container alignment on the center. We have lots of options here. You can pause the video if you wanna check each one of them. When I built this, we did didn't have uh, the padding option available so I had to do some little hacks here to achieve my desired uh, goal but now we have padding which is way better now to use so basically everything are boxes uh, in, inside boxes with some configuration and also of course apart from the structure we have the responsive rules as well so for example we have some conditionals uh, that change based on the the viewport size and then we do something with the the specific elements we want to target and then we make them uh, increase in size reduce in size we change the margin making sure that they make the next element go to the bottom so we basically 
create those rules to make it happen the way we want it to work. The fonts also have uh, rules to change the, the margins as well, also the size, the font size changes. So here you can have a quick understanding of how I built this and see the structure, how I organized the elements. Now with the new responsive engine, like I know it's there is a little bit of a learning curve to learn this for the first time, but once you get the hang of it, like it will be very good and very usable. So you can build really nice professional templates using Bubble now. And let's take a look inside the responsive tab as well. So you can see like we have the breakpoints, we have like changes happening when we have breakpoints. In this case, for example, we have lots of margins to make sure that these elements falls uh, to the bottom and then we have this huge margin on the side so these elements uh, fills up all the whole space and makes this layout break uh, in a specific uh, break point that I want and then it's just like hiding and showing things for the mobile menu as well and as you can see also you have ways to to show and hide information here on the element tree so we have for example the menu the mobile menu is hidden so when people click then we have conditionals that show the element conditionals that change the behavior as well change the icon we use custom states as well to trigger this action we add some workflows as well to, to show and hide we have animations going on states going on so we have a bunch of things under the hood making sure that this happens as well one thing that i want to show you is this little uh part here where I created hidden image containers for example inside this section here I created two, two images so the only thing that I'm repeating here is the image so you don't have to create two sections one with the image one in one side and one with the image on the other side and duplicate the text and everything because then if someone is updating this it the person will have to update two components uh, every time so the only thing that the person has to to do two times is to update the image and basically by having the image on both sides i can easily hide one image and show it uh when i when i want it to be visible like i showed you before when you are on the mobile i can show the the image that is on the other side and and hide the other image that was on the on the right side right so this way i can have like this section that has an image on the right showing uh on the top of the text because i have another copy of this element here that is not visible right now and then i, I hide this one and i show the other one when I, I am on the mobile view this way i have the image on the top and here as well uh, this second one doesn't have to have that same hack because the image is already here but in this case i also use the same strategy here to achieve that that change result also another thing that you can do i i didn't do here but you can play with reusable components as well so you have if you have multiple pages one thing that is nice to do is to convert like the header for example into a reusable component and then you place this in all the pages you have once you change it then all the changes will be applied to all the, the pages that have that specific component applied so yeah hopefully this was helpful guys i just wanted to quickly show how it works inside bubble give you a sense of how this structure uh, looks like also now let you guys know that um, you can build templates uh, and you can make money so if you are not building for someone else or for yourself you can just create templates and based on the templates you create you can make money you can have uh, recurring revenue if you sell a bunch of templates if you create lots of projects inside the bubble marketplace there is a way for you to make money in, in this way right so there are a lot of opportunities in the no code space if either if you want to uh, become an entrepreneur and create your own startup ideas uh, launch your startup businesses but also if you want to become a freelancer and do work for someone else uh, work in an agency or even um, create products around uh, the no code space create uh, bubble templates or other templates for, for other tools as well i think there is a huge demand in the no code space right now and i think this will only increase over time so if you liked this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you for watching so far i see you on the next videos let's no code